we're going to use the linear approximation to estimate the value of the square root of 9.1. We're going to do a natural log next. A linear approximation is just another way of saying the tangent line. So we need a function and we need a nice nearby value to 9.1. Well, I can see that my function is the square root. So f of x is equal to the square root of x, and I've got that graphed over here. I want a nearby point, a nice point that's easy to evaluate, and the nearest perfect square would be 9. So we're going to let a, the point of tangency, be equal to 9. So what I'm doing is coming up with the equation of the tangent line here at 9, and I'm going to use that equation to estimate 9.1's square root. Okay, so first step is to find the equation of that tangent line. I'm going to use point slope, y minus y1 is equal to m x minus x1. You might have a linear approximation formula, but believe me, it is really just this, just the equation of a line. m is going to be my derivative. Uh, y1 and x1 are going to be points on the line. We want this tangent line to be at a equals 9. So as I'm finding that point, x1 comma y1, it's going to be at 9 comma my function evaluated at 9. The square root of 9 is equal to 3. So my point is 9 comma 3. I also need the slope. And the slope is the derivative. So I need to find the derivative, so d dx of my function, which is the square root of x. Let's call that x to the 1 half power. So my derivative turns out to be 1 half x to the negative 1 half, or 1 over 2 square root of x. I want to evaluate this at 9. So when I evaluate this at 9, it's 1 over 2 radical 9, which turns out to be 1 sixth. So let's put this together into our equation. So I'm almost done with the hard part. I've got my point, which is here, x1 and y1, and I've got my slope, which is m. So our equation is going to be y minus y1, which is 3, is equal to 1 sixth x minus x1, which is 9. Now I'm not going to change this a lot. Instead, I'm just going to move the 3 over. I'm not going to bother to distribute that 1 6 through. And I end up with this as my linearization. So we can also name this L of x is equal to. Now I'm ready for step number two. Step number two is to use the linear approximation to evaluate the square root of 9.1. So step number two, we're going to look at radical 9.1, which would be f of 9.1. Well, we're approximating f with the linear function, L of x. So really, this just boils down to plugging in 9.1 right here. So what do we get? We get y is equal to 1 sixth 9.1 minus 9 plus 3, which is going to be 1 sixth of 0 0.1 plus 3. So I can continue and come up with my value. So using my linearization, I get that the square root of 9.1 is approximately 0.1 over 6 plus 3. And when I put that into my calculator, I end up with 3.0166666 repeating. So 3.016 repeating. Next, we want to estimate again with the linear approximation the natural log of 1.01. So I need to identify two things. I need to identify the function that I'm using, that's the natural log, and I need to identify the nearby point, the nice number that I'm going to use for a, for the point of tangency. So my function is definitely natural log of x, so ln of x, and my nice value is going to be a 1 because the natural log of 1 is really easy to compute. It's just equal to zero. So we're going to let a equal one. Now as I go through my steps, step number one is to find the equation of my tangent line. I write it this way. Again, you can use that linear approximation formula. Both work just great. I need first my x1 and my y1. So x1 comma y1, I'm using my point of tangency, which is one. So that's going to be one comma natural log of one 
which is one comma zero. I also need my slope, which is the derivative. So m is the derivative of my function ln x, ln x, which is gonna be one over x. When I evaluate that at x equals one, I end up with m or f prime of a is equal to one. So now I've got my values, let's put this together in my tangent line. So I get y minus y1, which is zero, is equal to m, which is one, so one, x minus x1, which is one. I can clean this up just a little bit, I don't really need to do a lot, and I can rewrite this as y is equal to, I can add the zero to both sides, I can distribute that one, it's just x minus one, a really nice tangent line. And I can use this to estimate the value of the natural log of 1.01. .01. That is gonna be our step number two. So for our step number two, we're gonna estimate that natural log of, so the natural log of 1.01 .01 is approximately this linearization at 1.01. .01. And what I have up here is the linearization of x. Well, this makes my job so incredibly easy. I just have the linearization y equals x minus one. So that means that y is equal to 1.01 .01 minus one. And our value, so the natural log of 1.01 .01 is approximately 0 0.01. Super easy. You're going to get these. Take a look at this next video here, and thanks so much for watching.